Hey there you guys, it's Tommy from Mobile DJ Tech Tips UK and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own DMX Terminator. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so to make your own DMX Terminator, you're going to need a couple of things. This includes a soldering iron and solder, some blue tack. You will also need some 3 pin male XLR plugs. You will also need 120 ohm resistors. If you don't know what they look like, they have brown, black, and brown bands around them. Okay, to start making your DMX Terminator, you're going to need to get your XLR plug. Just unscrew the cap, remove that little plastic bit on the inside, and then just push through the pins. Like so. Okay, and this is where you will need your trusty blue tack. So you just literally need enough to make a little base, like so. Then you're going to get your pins from your XLR plug. And you're just going to stick it firmly into the blue tack, like so. And this will prevent the XLR pins from falling over when you start the soldering process. Okay, so once you have your pins firmly into the blue tack, you need to know which one you're going to be soldering the resistor to. So we have three pins, as you can see on the XLR plug right here. So what we need to take into account is what pins are what. So right here we have pin number one. Right here we have pin number two. And right down here we have pin number three. So we are going to be soldering the resistor to pins 2 and 3. Okay, so as you can see right here, I've got the resistor and I have bent it into a kind of U-shape. And there's a reason why I've done this, because I don't know if you can see here, but inside of the actual pins on the XLR part of the plug, there are some little grooves. So what we're going to go along and we're going to do is we're going to stick one of the ends into pin number two, like so, and that should just balance like that. So once that's in like that, so what we're going to go along and do then is we're going to go along and we're going to get the solder and the soldering iron, and then we're just going to solder this bit in until it's in like so okay so we're going to repeat the process so we're going to put the other side of the resistor into pin number three and then we're just going to go solder that in like so so once you finish the soldering process the finished result should look something like this Okay, so once you've finished the soldering process of soldering the resistor to pins 2 and 3, as you can see here, this is a standard XLR plug. As you can see, you open it up and there's, there's nothing in there. Okay, so what we're going to go along and do is, we're just going to have a look. We're going to have a look at the XLR plug right here. So as you can see, you have pins three, two, and one right here. And you've got this little notch right here, just like we do on the tube of the DMX plug we've just taken apart. So we need to be able to get the, those pins in like so. So if we have a look at the plastic notch and inside of here, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a little groove so what we're going to go along and do is we are going to put the pins in we're going to try and match it up with that notch and then everything should just slide in like so 
So then what we're going to do is we're going to get the little plastic grommet and we are going to feed it onto one of the legs of the resistor like so and then we're just going to put that down in over it and that should help protect the resistor like so. Screw on the cap and that's it. That is your DMX Terminator. All done. So there you go, it's as simple as that to make your own DMX Terminator and at a fraction of the price you'll be saving yourself a lot of money. So if you like these kind of videos, please feel free to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It's completely your choice. I respect your feedback regardless. And also smash that subscribe button. The support really, 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 really helps. You have no idea that the channel is now on 17 subscribers. We're slowly growing and I hope to slowly grow with you. So um, if you like all of these kind of videos, um, please leave it also in down in the comments box below. And if there's any videos that you'd like to see me doing, I'll see if I can try and do that for you. I'm going to leave it there for this part of the video, practice and enjoy.